Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you are interested in luxury fashion but don't really have a budget for ready to wear just yet, then you're gonna absolutely love this video. Today I have partnered with one of my favorite brands right now, which is Urban Revivo, to show you guys some of my favorite Chanel inspired looks and other designer inspired looks. Urban Revivo is a new website I discovered and they have an amazing selection of like really beautiful tweed jackets as well as knitwear and just some really cool pieces which can just elevate a very simple, boring look. This is my typical go-to look when I want to look slightly dressed up but not like I put too much effort in. I love a whole schoolgirl vibe and today, if you guys watched my previous video on Urban Revivo, you'll know that these two pieces are from Urban Revivo. So we've got this colorless shirt with these gorgeous puffy sleeves and this little black pleated kind of tennis skirt. Paired with this little white tweed jacket, I've got a complete look which makes me ready for the office as well as for a brunch date or even like a quick meeting, like a formal slash informal meeting. I paired it with stockings or tights because it's still a little bit chilly and my favorite Chanel kitten heels. I love these for like daily use, they're very comfortable. Alternatively, I would actually wear them with my Valentino platform heels. I think that's also quite a vibe. I could even wear this out, probably with like a little tank top as opposed to a shirt for a night out. But I absolutely love this jacket. I love the detailing. I love the black piping against the white. It also has little tiny pockets on both sides. So I'm wearing size small and it fits pretty well. It's perfect on the shoulders. I'll show you what it looks like with my arms through. This is something I can wear with like jeans or trousers, literally anything. I love a put together jacket and I feel like fabrics like tweed or boucle really kind of elevate your style and they just make you look more put together. And this is very Chanel-esque. I feel like everyone just associates tweed to Chanel. I feel like collarless jackets are just more my vibe. So this look I've paired my Urban Revivo skirt with my Kate top. I know my bra straps are showing and that's like never okay, but with a jumper on top we're just like tucking the front in i mean i could add a belt but i feel like it'll be too much do i want to add a belt my trusty chanel belt it matches because there's pearls and there's also like champagne detailing on the buttons Ooh, okay cute it's like a little less basic so we have the champagne detailing pearl buttons these cutie little pockets we love pockets and it's just a really nice cozy jumper. I've only tucked in the front because I don't like fully tucking it in, but obviously you could. You even wear it completely open. But I think this with a pair of, oh my God. I do want to reach for the Chanel Kiss and Heels, but like I'm honestly not going to because I need the height. And these make my legs look really long. With my Urban Revivo jumper, I've paired it with their skirt, a Chanel belt, a Chanel bag, and my Valentino tan goes. So cute. Now this is a look I could, again, wear to the office if I'm feeling extra. Alternatively, I could switch it up with like smaller heels. Or I could wear this out. I can also wear this to meetings. I can also wear this to brunch. A plethora of places. Another type of go-to basic ensemble is a cropped fitted white tee and fitted black trousers for me. This is a very simple everyday look, office look for me. I don't go to an actual office office, like it's my workplace, so I get to dictate what I wear. And to be honest, we don't really have, we don't really have a dress code. Everyone can come in in whatever they're wearing as long as they look smart and presentable. In the office, it's freezing, the AC is always on. So I thought this, oh, this is so cute. This is literally another look that I would wear. With my tiny little Chanel heels, I think this is such a cute little look. I honestly love cardigans because they're just a great throw-on piece to like a simple boring outfit. Obviously this is, this was a very simple boring outfit and instead of wearing like a heavy blazer or like something that looks too formal, I do love the look of like a tweed cardigan. Although this isn't tweed, it's actually like knitted wool and it feels so soft. I love the detailing on this, like I said, it's something I can wear with black and white and then spice up with. A colorful bag if I wanted to. I love adding a pop of color where I'm wearing black and white and I think this is just a great little piece. Obviously if I'm going to work I'll be taking the bigger version. This doesn't really, it's 
not really practical and you look put together on a budget you don't necessarily have to spend a lot i love to emphasize spending and investing in quality accessories like bags and shoes i feel like fabric really dictates how expensive you look I don't know if that's the right way to phrase it, but I feel like you don't really need to spend a lot of money on ready to wear to look well put together. I feel like it's just mainly the quality of the fabrics and the look of the fabric. This doesn't look like something I just picked up for less than $100. It actually looks quite expensive. And every time I wear these pieces, my sister always thinks I'm wearing Chanel. And she knows me. I always like dip into Chanel pieces and I love mixing and matching high street and high fashion. So I think this is a great piece to have. And black and white, you just can't go wrong. So this is another little office -y look for me. I, again, I told you I live in like black and white ensemble. So adding pops of color wherever I can is very necessary. It's a great way to start like adding color into your wardrobe. If you're like me and you're not really 100% confident in adding color, like completely black and white basics and then just add like a pop of color on top or with your accessories so today i'm wearing this blue little jumper from urban revivo it is a cardigan it can be tucked in like i've tucked it in i've just kind of untucked the back or you can wear it completely untucked and it still looks cute it's almost the same as that other look but literally so easy to wear and it just it's something you can just wear anywhere i could also wear this with like laura pianos i do have a matching pair of blue lauras but I'm wearing it with my Chanel flats. Again, this is like a formal look for me. Alternatively, could I wear it with... Ooh, maybe that could be a look. I'm just annoyed that I'm wearing like gold accents and then the Manolos are like gunmetal. So for a slightly more formal vibe, like a PTA meeting, which I obviously don't attend, I threw on this very cute Chanel inspired double breasted blazer. I love their tweed pieces because this is like a very subtle tweed. It's also got a mix between gray and beige as well as like cream. So it's a color which goes with almost anything. And these buttons don't have any hardware on them. So you can actually wear it with almost any kind of hardware detailed bag or shoes. So for this look, I've paired it with my little mini well, it's a small beige Claire Chanel bag and champagne Manolos. I do love these champagne Manolos with this look. I think this is a very like chic look, which is like something I definitely go pick my kids up from school in if I were to pick them up from school. I don't have kids yet, so I don't know if I'm going to be on that vibe or if I'm going to like be in Pilates. You never know. However, I love this look. This is definitely a cute look. This is something I would wear if I want to look like I put effort into what I'm wearing, but also don't want the other person to think that I've dressed up specifically for them, you know? Although this is me putting effort in. This is probably something my sister wears to the grocery store. I don't even know if she goes to a grocery store, but and I really do love the lapels on this. They're not like too overpowering. This has faux pockets but that's fine because we can carry a bag. Yeah, yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I think this is my favorite look. This look is me living up to my farm girl vibes when I'm in the countryside. I love a houndstooth jacket. Because I don't have my riding boots, like my actual like fashion riding boots here, and my sister's, she has this really lovely pair of dual riding boots. These I can't get my foot into. I've put on my actual riding boots just to give you guys an idea of how I would style this. I think Hermes riding boots would look fantastic with this look. Like jumping boots, what a little vibe. This is such a cute oversized piece. I'm actually wearing small. Although the shoulders fit me quite well, it is a little bit large in terms of length, which is why I've worn it like this. I didn't want to wear it again with like the heels and the white t-shirt. I think a cute black mock neck, ooh, like a little roll neck, tassel neck moment could be cute with this as well. But I really love this. This is literally just what I want to live in when I'm in London. It's very warm, it's very snuggly, and it's double breasted. Double breasted jackets are just so cute. I really love oversized jackets. Because I'm small, I know a lot of people think it doesn't look great, but oversized jackets with like a fitted bottom always work for me. And you can even belt these to give yourself a little bit more of like a hourglass look. This okay, these are two little pieces which I love right now. I love a pop of green. Green is my current new favorite, my green is my new current favorite color. I think it's just such a happy color 
And this is a cute little cropped cardigan. This can be unbuttoned. Again, with the pearl detailing, very Chanel-esque. Little pockets, these are real pockets. I don't know what you'll put in here, but you know, maybe chicken fillets. I love this, this can be untucked, of course. I'm actually wearing these amazing high-waisted flared pants with my Valentinos. They are a little bit long, but when you're my height and you wear flared pants, you need to be wearing extra high heels because you need that length. You don't want to look like a fella bella, mini pony. You don't want to be walking around like a shy horse. Honestly, these are like the perfect fit. They are not super tight, so they don't like cling to me in the wrong places, but they also feel so amazing. They're stretchy. However, not stretchy where it doesn't look like I've got any shape around the buttocks. And this is something I would wear to hide the fact that I'm wearing ridiculously high heels. Okay, next, a very simple black long sleeve t-shirt with an oversized cardigan. Literally everything I want to live in. I'm just so comfortable right now, but also I'm a little bit put together. Because of like the black piping and the pearl details, I feel like I'm a little bit put together. Also, maybe we can wear this. Yeah, the accessories like zhuzh it up. I feel like accessories really like make an outfit. And even though this is super simple, plain, it's something I would definitely wear to work or even a night out. If it's just like a casual dinner, I'm not trying to go like over the top and like look super nice. This is something I would wear, especially on like a cozy night. So this is like a long line cardigan. It's not super long. It does cover my butt, which is great on days where I don't feel like showing it off. <laughs> It's really cute. It's also something you can wear with like jeans. It's also something you can wear with jeans or even like leggings, leather pants, very warm. It's like a woolen material. And it's actually navy. This isn't like a black, it's navy, but it, could, it very nicely complements the black. And I love that there's no hardware on this. So you can actually choose what kind of hardware you want to wear with this. Obviously I've gone for champagne with my pearl bag. I could obviously opt for a pop of colour or just go with a plain black mini Birkin. And if I wanted to, I could add a belt. But to be honest, I really just love this plain, simple look. This is like a very modest look for me. Like a lot of people ask me to do modest looks. And like, I feel like me wearing skirts with tights is like modest. Like that's the max. This is like the ultimate peak of modesty for me. Like I feel fully, well, I am fully covered, but you know this piece has to be one of my favorites this is very me a cropped faux leather little jacket this is biker jacket vibes but also casual jacket vibes it does come in i believe like an eggshell like off-white color but obviously me i'm like an all black kind of girl i love this it's so cute it has like this kind of like scrunched up detailing on the back i love that it's like a very casual black little jacket that so much i love like a collar like this i don't like biker jackets like leather jackets with lapels or like collars they're just they don't suit me but this is so cute it has these big pockets it really reminds me of like a little petite piece that we have like our track jackets but this is so cute this is very me and with these long pants there's honestly any bag goes like this yeah whatever this this works Sass, i definitely think i'm gonna get the white now i love this you guys better run to the site and check if this is still available. I feel like this will sell out in seconds. It's so lovely. The one thing I love about this website is that there's so many different things, but there's not like an overhaul of things where you could spend hours on the website. It's a very condensed kind of site. So they have a variety of different things for different kinds of styles. And this, even though it is like a grungy kind of vibe, it's very kind of elegant at the same time in the sense that it doesn't look like one of those tacky faux leather jackets. This looks like real leather and it doesn't have the smell of like faux leather. I'm just, I'm very happy with this piece. I don't want to take this off. I think I might just wear this today. Okay, this has to be one of my favorite looks. And I think I've said that about every single look, but I've had so much fun playing dress up in these looks. I don't actually plan the outfits out. I just keep a bunch of like basics, which I wear generally. And I incorporate the pieces which I feel look best into each look. But this, is a full Urban Revivo look. I'm wearing a little skirt. This is like a skirt in the front and it's shorts in the back. And this jumper, this knit piece, 
honestly reminds me of an Isabel Morant piece. Like it's almost exactly the same as an Isabel Morant piece with the shoulder detailing. I love this. It's like a linen skirt. So we've got like a warm kind of vibe on the top, but a summery kind of spring vibe on the bottom paired with my classic Chanel little heels. Very cute to wear to work for lunch. In fact, I think I'm going to wear this today for the rest of the day. Like it's just so cute. This skirt actually, well, Scorped actually comes in a bunch of different colors. I picked up this color because I don't think I've got anything in this color. And I've really liked how it complemented this sweater. I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed with this look. And of course, a beige Chanel bag. We're gonna end this video here because I'm just obsessed with this look and I'm gonna wear this out for the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out Urban Revivo, I will leave a link in my description box. I will also link every single piece that I've worn throughout this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do wanna see more videos like this with designer inspired pieces for less than $100, let me know in the comments below. There will also be a discount code you guys can use to get some money off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram. You can follow Urban Revivo on Instagram so you get notified of their new collection drops. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.